Welcome to NanoBuilder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell your first product on Nanocast. There's four steps to go through. One is to log in, publish, wizard, and launch. I'm going to make some assumptions about what you're selling, mainly that you want to have your customers join a mailing list, and that you want to protect your product information you're selling. In this case, I'm going to assume a PDF file. So with that, let's go through an example. First thing to do is log in. Okay, here's where you want to click on publish. Click on product wizard. Now the key here is to go through and go through every option, but for what I'm going to do for you is show you what I think are the quickest way to get set up and running. So let's give it a test name. There's only three requirements here. A name, publisher name, and a customer service email. Well, there's a fourth. Since we want to protect this, we're going to set up and click Add Podcast Functionality or Download Files to Products. We're going to check that box. We don't have to worry about podcast options since we're not actually using it. We're more interested in the Download Files to Product. Continue on to the next step. Now, <laughs> this is where we end up protecting our file. So let's just give it a name. Nothing to set here. Okay, this is the file, your PDF file, which you ha should have stored on Amazon. In Firefox, there's a add-on or called S3 Fox Organizer, which allows you to store and move your files in Amazon structure. So I'm going to capture the link here, copy that URL, but I'm also going to go back here and show you the permissions. Notice that basically it's read, write, full control, or denied to everyone except for the owner. So I copied the link there back to Nanocast, I'm going to put in that URL and show link to this media file on thank you or content pages, yes. Let's give it a link called test. Nothing else here needs to be uh, accessed, so let's save and continue to next step. set the pricing. Now because we want to protect this we cannot use free. So I am going to give it just a regular pricing of one dollar. I'll leave these checked. Don't necessarily need to worry about that. Payment processor settings. The only one I've got right now is PayPal. So I will give it a PayPal email address. And let's go down to file and access security. Enable episode and file download security, yes. Thank you page settings. We're going to use the dynamic. And the only thing we're going to put on that page is the file download links tag. We're not going to send out an email. We'll use our AWeber settings for that. Save and continue to next step. We're going to skip upsells, downsells. We do want to add our customers to a mailing list, in this case AWeber. So it wants to know what the email address is to subscribe to. I'm not going to worry about unsubscribes. I'm going to go into my email account. And one thing you need to get to is your 
the email list you want, and that is going to be part of the email. List options, email parsers, scroll down till you find Nanocast, check the box. Don't need to do this since it's already configured to work. And then there's a commit or you don't even have to do anything. Once you've clicked that, it's good. So that is the name of my email that I'm gonna add. I am not going to use that. Click here to finish the wizard. There is my self-hosted link, which is all you really need. There's your sales page. It doesn't really say anything because we didn't add anything. But it does ask for a first name, last name, email, terms and conditions. And then you can order, and I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll click on the Order Now button and go to PayPal. Okay, once payment is made, this is what my thank you page looks like. Definitely not fancy. If I click on the link, that should open a PDF file. And there it is. Now, even if I was to copy this link and share it, this is unusable by anyone else. If I go to another browser and paste in that link, even if I go in and paste that link into another browser, it's not gonna work. There's a time limit, an IP limit, and that's how the PDF file is protected. So, that's how you sell your first product on Nanocast.